There right there is a golden pompano that I've uh, cut the fins off of and bisected. I've got a couple famished uh, seven week old uh, F2 lichen shepherds. We got uh, Baloo there and Septimus there. I've got uh, lichen shepherds uh, Toki and uh, Kabar here. They live in the house. They're uh, just there for filming purposes. Let's get these little guys fed. Now I've taken this uh, pompano and uh, cut it in half and left it whole. We're uh, teaching the puppies to chew and uh, giving them a whole piece like this and forcing them to chew off small pieces is going to help do that. Chewing is the first stage of digestion. Now they will get other food today. Again, this is uh, just me filming them uh, being taught to chew. Fish bones are perfectly safe for dogs as long as they're raw. Cooked bones are dangerous. Cooking the bone makes them uh, hard and brittle and prone, uh, prone to both obstructions and perforations of the bowels. Raw bones won't do that. But you do need to make sure uh, that they are chewing them adequately. They do like to pet the dogs and handle them when they're eating. It teaches them not to be food aggressive. They get quite a little workout eating stuff like this. Again, uh, Baloo and uh, Septimus have never had it like this. I usually hack it up a little bit so they can get at it. And now we're progressing to just giving them a half like this and letting them work on it. You can see Baloo's uh, starting to do that. Septimus is still tossing it around and hoping it'll fall apart. <laughs> Little man. I lose like that. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Uh, this pompano hasn't been gutted. I feed them uh, however I get the fish, you know. Uh, some fish I buy is gutted and some isn't. <laughs> A little bit of the grass is always greener there. I think Balu realized there's some good guts in that piece. <laughs> Septimus has figured out not to toss it around so much and uh, start gnawing on it. And there's a learning curve when they're given new stuff like this. It's always fun to watch.
miss, you get fish guts on the side of your head, my loop. It's like, oh, it's like a hot pocket. There's something good inside. <laughs> And I cut it in half uh, right across the stomach there so they could both get access to the organs inside. Again, raw fish bones are perfectly safe for dogs, as are raw chicken and other bones. It's just cooked bones that are dangerous. Up close and personal. <laughs> You can see with each video they get better and better at chewing stuff. So they get more experience and get uh, bigger.
kind of exercise canines are meant to get when they're eating. This is why so many puppies are destructive and young dogs around the house because they're not getting this kind of outlet. And dogs that eat like this every day have a much stronger uh, jaw and bite force than those that grow up eating kibble. Again, for obvious reasons. Uh, when you work a muscle daily, it gets stronger. When you have a lifetime of working a muscle daily, it gets exceptionally strong. Kibble just basically falls apart when they bite it. Much of it gets uh, swollen, uh, unchewed at all if you have a medium to large sized dog. And then it just goes inside your dog's gut and uh, falls apart and uh, puffs up like a big sponge. And you'll see that in a lot of people's uh, puppy feeding videos, you know, the ones where they'll take kibble and uh, mix it up with uh, formula or milk or even just feeding the pup puppy straight kibble themselves, the puppies will get a big pot-bellied look because the kibble goes in their gut and then just swells up. A lifetime of eating kibble, as I've mentioned in many videos, makes your dog much more susceptible to bloat because it makes those muscles of the g tract become lax and underdeveloped. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm going to take my piece over here. Feeding raw will help uh, protect your dog from bloat. I mean, it can't 100% uh, guarantee that it won't help, that it won't happen, but uh, it can help protect it by exercising and uh, developing those muscles of the G-Track. When those muscles become lax and uh, underdeveloped, uh, when a dog uh, is panting hard and then uh, gulps down uh, large quantities of water, or other things, the, the stomach can flip and twist and uh, cutting off blood flow to a portion of it and it's just a matter of time, uh, a matter of a few hours before they'll die if uh, something isn't done. As I mentioned in a past video, I lost an American Bulldog to that uh, 25 years ago and uh, that's what caused me to start re researching raw diets and uh, what uh, got me feeding my dogs that. Septimus is over there. He's coming in for the steel. <laughs> He's got a big piece over in the other part over there but uh, the grass is always greener. Rose peas might taste better. <laughs> I've been brushing uh, Ulu and Lobo uh, out in the yard uh, both are blowing their coats, so you'll notice a lot of hair around. <laughs> They're so funny. He's so gonna take it into the den. They've got a little den under the stairs there. No, they're just, he's just going to sit there and tease his two brothers with him. <laughs> Actually, K-Bar, the black dog, is, their, is these pups' full brother. And uh, Toki would be their nephew. They're his little uncles. K-Bar is blowing his coat in the other kennel there. That's what the, the black tusks of fur you saw in his thighs were. Yeah, I'll just sit and tease you guys here, he says. <laughs> Again, they all live in the house. They're just in the kennel there while the puppies are eating. 
I think he's just sitting there acting like he's playing until the puppy gets it close to the fence and then he'll try dragging it through. <laughs> Now you can see here, Baloo's uh, really making some progress on this piece. Once they get that skin breached along the side, they can really start getting at the soft meat. Tokes. You can even see through that fuzzy puppy coat some of the muscle these guys have underneath there. They're running around playing all day long. He's like, I'm just waiting for the puppy to drop something close to the fence here, so I'm down here so I can snatch it. Get that dangerously close to where Toki can get it. See Toke pop right up when he left the fish. He's like, damn, I can't snatch it. <laughs> Knock it off, knock it off.
they're bitching about who can be hit at the spot right by the fence there to get the food in case it goes through. Kibar said, I want that spot. <laughs> Just a little canine bitching. So Kibar took the spot in case it slides through the fence so he can get it. <laughs> Toki got relegated to the doghouse. Yeah, Toki. He's like, you got something for me? No, nothing for you yet. You guys get to eat when they're done. a big tilapia to eat. Like I'm done eating now. I want some love. <laughs> Two brothers are built quite a bit different. 
Septimus is built uh, thicker and heavier and uh, Baloo's going to be built uh, longer and taller. At least that's the way it's looking right now. But, you know, they just turned seven weeks old today. Lots can change. Plus, Sep has a little, uh, he has a little thicker, longer coat, which gives the illusion of being a little thicker as well. But if you pick them both up, he's the heavier puppy. And Baloo is uh, a little longer. I think uh, Baloo will be built uh, more like uh, Kurgan and uh, Badge. Again, you don't have to worry about fish bones with dogs as long as they're raw. It's cooked bones that are dangerous. Badges have been uh, seen much for the last couple weeks because uh, uh, she's been in heat and so I've had to keep her separated from the boys and stuff. Uh, that's nearing an end now and so uh, you'll start seeing her more often around the other dogs. I've been having to kind of keep her separated uh, and keeping her with Ulu and the puppies a lot. Musical fish. <laughs> but just a moment, I'm going to pause again. We're back. We got a couple puppies playing tug. Got uh, mom up on the steps there eating a fish. Kerrigan's over here with his own fish. Give me his pet me face. Then I bring mom and dad out to give them something too since the two boys are eating. Badge and Lobo are uh, inside right now eating. fish. It's one of the primary food sources for my dogs. 
They also get a lot of chicken lately, uh, post uh, COVID. I don't have access to uh, quite as many foods as I uh, once used to, especially now with uh, the shortages and inflation. because I'm crouched down, Kurgan will even stop eating food just to get pets. <laughs> Puppy listen to him pretty good. Here you just had to give him a little low rumble there. Still in the sun, hey, let me finish eating this fish, buddy. You just had some. I said, come on, Pop, just let me have a little. So funny to watch him uh, communicate with his dad. Kurgan will always eat his food up on top of something like this metal drum here. There's also a stump in the yard he uses too to keep it up away from the puppies. They have a lot of videos showing that on the channel. You can see he has no problem powering through that fully frozen fish. Come on, Dad, just give me some.
Good boy, buddy. up over there eating the hers out of the way. Steps over here. like they're done I hope you enjoyed this like subscribe and share hit that notification bell down below you get email notifications when our new videos come out check out our merch store bye from me Sap and Baloo Kurgan Ulu Toki and uh, K-Bar who are getting some fish pieces that fell underneath the mat there <laughs> see ya Thanks for watching. Check out our merch store down below.